did you know companies like Amazon, Apple, and Harley-Davidson all trace their beginnings to a garage? We stepped in a Plymouth garage today where great ideas get underway and no two ideas are alike. I start with a plan and I'll even sometimes draw it out. Garages are much more than a place to store a car. That'll pop in there. Some time ago, Dan Arnold moved his car out and his creativity in. It's always something. I've got maybe five or six things going here. This is where Dan brings his plans to life. That's a start. Then it changes as I go. There's no telling what he will create. Totem pole in the spring. Everything from items he has found. And it's, again, recycling, reusing. These are all pieces from a stained glass friend. It's all a work in progress. I got to put things here and move them there. And, and what Dan likes best of all. This one over here is my idea of what a bird brain might look like. Might surprise you. I love making mistakes. I love cutting something wrong. That means I have to change my, my thought process and come up with a little different approach or add something or take something away. This is an erector set. The result is birdhouses <laughs> so, like you've it, never seen before. It is a passion. A self-portrait complete with a cigar, a take on modern art, or regrowth on a burned post. I don't go out and look for things, I just find them. I mean, they just sort of appear and then what are you going to do with them? Well, it's, let's make something. These might be fit for a bird. 30% of what I make could be outside. But many people will display them as art. There are no boundaries. I just can go, I can do whatever. It's, you know, an idea strikes me and if it doesn't, if it fails, who cares? You know, it's fun. And if someone wants something perfect, his advice? Go to Ikea and buy it. Otherwise, with no <laughs> pressure and well, maybe one limit. When it's five below zero, I can still work out there. These hands, these digits still work, but it's not as much fun. <laughs> Dan Arnold can head to the garage and create something even he can't predict. And maybe it'll change before I finish it. You know, if I look at it long enough, it probably will. You might have noticed several in the video, several wooden bowls. Dan prefers to create those in the winter, so that's why those were there. Mike, so far, he's just done one show, but he does have a website where you can see all sorts of things he's created. It's www.birdhousecrazy.com. I don't know if I'd put a bird in some of those. Those are indoor After birdhouses. After all that work, <laughs> yeah, it would exactly. be really hard to see a squirrel to chew one oh, up. Really? Can you imagine? Woo, exactly. That would make me nice mad. Work.